Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you a story now about tea. And uh, tea, when tea came to Ireland, the Irish took to it like ducks to water. And they've been drinking it ever since by like gallon. And I know here in America, tea has been unconstitutional since uh, the late 1700s after some uh, celebration they had on the East Coast where people dressed up and had a party and things. And I realise, uh, due to local politics, that there's a new party trying to make tea popular again. <laughs> I know coffee is the, I suppose, it's um, the untaxable fruit here in America. And uh, you sent all the tea back and you made bad tea on the grounds of that ever since. <laughs> and people in the South who've been trying to secede for many years are doing it slowly, but they're doing it with kind of... It's what I call a macchia tea. It's, it's not a real tea, like, it's cold tea they have in the South. But anyway, the real tea, ladies and gentlemen, is black tea. Black tea, and the best of it comes from Cork. Barry's tea, if you're ever looking for it. They have it on Irish and Grand. Barry's tea. And the way to make it, and I'm educating as much of America as I can, because as I travel around, I'd love to get a cup of tea, and it's very hard, although it's getting better. But the best way to make tea is with fresh water. You need fresh water. And then you put that into your kettle, electric kettle or gas kettle, and boil it to 100 degrees centigrade. What's that in Fahrenheit? About 410. <laughs> and when it's, when it's boiling, the electric kettle will click or if you have a whistle kettle on the gas ring, you have to wait till it gets to high G. <laughs> That's the note. And then you swig a bit of water into your teapot, and then you swirl that around. That's the scalding of the pot. And this water now has become useless. So you have to throw it out. You could cool it and water your flowers with it afterwards if you liked, but you can't be drinking it. Right? Now you have a hot thermos. Right, it's not at room temperature anymore, it's hot, it's scalding. And you put your leaves in then, or your bags, and the trick that most of you forget, because you might be absent-minded and doing far too much, because you work too hard in America. <laughs> the trick is, you have to re-boil the water to high G. There's no second guessing it. And then, while the water's between 98 and 100 degrees centigrade, you pour it on top of the leaves or the bags, and then the taste will infuse into the water. And you have beautiful tea after about three minutes. Five minutes if you want it strong, and seven if you think you're mighty. 